Hello and welcome to this tutorial video on bookmarks in Radar Opus. Now there are quite a few different applications for bookmarks and I just want to start with the basics. Um, so let's dive straight in. How do you create a bookmark in the program? So I've opened a book. So what I've done is open a reference text. I went for the Organon and I've opened the um, Wender Brewster O'Reilly translation here which I find a little bit more approachable. So we've gone straight to one of the most famous aphorisms, of course, 153, where he talks about the more striking, exceptional and odd signs and symptoms. So I'm going to create a bookmark here so that when I'm next teaching, I can quickly get back to this place. So it's quite easy. You right click from the next menu, go to bookmarks and then add a bookmark to the current symptom. On a Mac, uh, you need to use the two finger touch on the trackpad as a right click, unless you're using an external mouse. Okay, so it opens up your bookmarks um, folder. And so you can see I've made quite a lot uh, and they're all listed alphabetically by default. There should be a way of adding separate folders, but it doesn't seem to work. So don't do that as yet. Hopefully we'll get that. Uh, side of things ironed out but for now all you have to do is name the bookmark so we're going to go for organon aphorism 153 and then save so we see the symbol there and if i click well, there's a little preview of what it is so now if i want to ever go back there i just click on bookmarks and then start typing organon you can see I've made a few other Organon entries and there's 153. If I double clicked here, I'd go to an aphorism 78. Okay, so you can start marking up <clears throat> any reference or repertory in this way in the program. So it's not only useful for if you're preparing teaching or working on um, an article um, where you want to gather together various sources. It's also helpful as a um, way to sort of shortcut between documents. So if I show you what I mean, what I've done here is um, put a number before um, the name of the document. And that means if I open my bookmarks folder, as long as I remember the numbers roughly, like if I remember that four relates to synthesis, I jump down to synthesis and some different locations that I've saved. And if you just keep repeating the number, it sort of cycles through them. So I could go ailments from in synthesis. And there we go. So nice quick shortcut. And then I say, okay, <clears throat> now I want to go into QREP version four, double click there, and I open QREP. Or if I want to go to Murphy's clinical chapter, I double click and it opens. <clears throat> so that's really nice uh, way that you can build shortcuts. So my suggestion with that is, let me show you an example. If I open a repertory, let's say I open FATAC's repertory, and I just want to create a bookmark for FATAC now. So I right click on the first chapter, which is fine for this purpose, go to bookmarks, add a bookmark, and let's find a number that is not being used yet. So there's a few in there. Maybe we'll go for six, doesn't have too, very many. So we'll go six, FATAC, concise. And that's it. So the bookmark appears. And next time I open bookmarks, if I just type six, I'll see FATAC there. Okay, so you'll see from how I'm using it, you can actually take it another stage further. So here I've got uh, Massimo's suggested repertory. I double click on this bookmarks it takes me to a symptom uh, of the mind he's using latin so immense ataraxia so i didn't know what that meant so what i did was to look that up if i hold down the alt key click and drag around the text and then uh, command c copy and then you could just go into google paste and have a look so what i did when i created the bookmark here <clears throat> was to copy and paste some of what I found from Google into my bookmark 
and now I have a sort of information note, if you like, um, explaining it a little bit. And you can just copy paste straight in. So what you would do is right click, so let's right click, bookmarks. Here I would click on rename the bookmark, and it's obviously not particularly designed to do this. Uh, so it's not, a, you know, so you can't see all the text. But if I just scroll through here, you'll see that I've just copy pasted it in. So let's say I went to create a new one. That's spirituality. Let's say I want to create a bookmark here. I could right click, add the bookmark. So what I'm going to do is copy my um, what I've done for the rest of them so that it follows the same pattern. So if I click on five suggester, then copy, then paste, and then I didn't want to do that. Uh, and then I'll put in the symptom, which was spirituality. And then let's say I opened um, my browser. Let's just Okay, and let's say I just want to take this straight from the Oxford languages. I can just copy that straight in here, save. And now when I look at the bookmark, I have a little definition there. So not only can you use the bookmarks to navigate uh, to different places quickly, you can also use them to add information or a definition to, um, to any repertory symptom which is quite useful. So some examples here in Suggesta, there are quite a few symptoms like this one. Um, hang on, let's see. Oblativity is a good one. You know, quite a, quite a strange word that we're not used to. So I looked it up and it's, it relates to selflessness, the act of making an offering, something offered in devotional worship. So those are the main uses that I have for the um, bookmarks. I think it actually they're pretty versatile and I hope that you enjoy that and hope that you make use of them yourself. Okay, that's it for now. Bye bye.